Hey everybody, this is Ostuni and welcome back to Let's Play Medieval, or well, it's not really called Let's Play Medieval, but it pretty much it's just called Medieval. Fuck. That didn't take very long at all. But, we're in the second to final level. And we're going to figure this shit out. Let's see, so... I wanted to take a look at this one again, and we want to go, okay, so we're going to do, okay, I think I can remember that, I think I can remember that this time, but, oh god, I hate this, oh shit, I forgot, you could just hold down the fucking circle button, um, Let me see something. I may have gotten that. Um, hands reversed. Yep. Yep, hands are reversed. So, hold down the circle button if you want to do this. Let's go ahead and get that in the right place. Get this over here, and we'll be ready to see what's down this way. And it's a life bottle. And a life fountain. Holy crap. That's pretty nice. So that way was actually optional if um, if you want to put it in a technical term. You really didn't have to go down that way, but if you want that extra life bottle, it's pretty... It's pretty useful in the final battle, I'll just say that, without giving anything away to anyone who hasn't played this. Oh, so fun game in the beginning, but oh, so frustrating near the end. Platforming. Early eras, am I right? Early eras platforming? Anybody can relate? Anybody relate? Okay, not sure. You know what, guys? I think... You know what? Here's an interesting question. I want to, um, and I want to get comments up, so, let's see, diagonal down and gold up, okay. I think I already got the gold, or the, uh, silver one where I need it to be. This isn't where it needs to be. But, um, comment below <clears throat> the most frustrating, um, platformer that you played on the PS1 generation. And um, I'm actually going to rule one out right now because I know what a lot of people are going to say. Um, don't say Bubsy 3D. Everything but Bubsy 3D because I think we can all agree that like, even if you haven't played that game before, you can look at it and tell it's a fucking travesty. But beyond that, what is your, um, most hated. Ooh. What the... What is this? I don't understand. Oh, I think I get it now. Oh, yeah! I remember. I remember. We gotta get the... Really, dude? We gotta get the train pointing towards each of these doors as we unlock them, and we can just shove them around. Okay, cool. Let's see if I can get on the train without killing myself, too. Oh, I almost thought I was going to. Okay, here we go, train. Chugga, chugga, choo, choo. Skull train. Here we go. No one do a place. Uh-oh, they set up a blockade. Oh, shit. I will not stop! You can't stop me! You can't stop me, Pumpalos! Alright, let's 
So we did that. That's a thing. And in order to get back, we just hop back on the train. Chugga 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 Oh shit! Well, that's another light bulb out of the drain. But now we have to go the other way. Somebody doing shit on Facebook. Shit. I think. Is that the... Is that all we had to do? Nope. Okay. My bad. I forgot where uh, where we were placed as far as like... Okay. So we need to be pointing here. Right? Okay, cool. Jump! Okay. Alright, so let's keep it going. Chugga chugga. More bad. Oh, more, more baddies. Way more baddies. And a life fountain. I'm gonna wait until I actually defeat everybody before I uh, take that, uh, before I use up that life fountain on both sides too, because I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to wind up going down. Oh yeah, I have to... Okay. One lever per each door, so... Okay, cool. This might be a shorter video than I thought. Let's see. Oh yeah, that's right. I'm... Uh, short term memory. Not too good. Okay. Let's go down this way. And... Slain. the way to the final boss has actually been um has been opened so we can end it now if you guys don't give a shit about um completion but i do that's kind of why i wanted to play this game because i wanted to get every chalice of souls in the game and show everybody how to do it live with commentary and junk it's taken me much longer to play this game than I would like. Not to say that I don't love this game to death, because I really do. Let's see. Oh yeah, I want to show you guys something. The train got a little face on it. It's like Tobias, the the scary skull engine of death and destruction. See what I did there? Tobias? Kind of sounds like, you know, from when you were a kid, you the tank engine, you know, Tamis. All right, so let's see here. There's only one more piece of business that we need to do real quick, and that is pick up the Chalice of Souls. So we're gonna have to go around this monstrosity. Can't remember which way it is though. Okay, it's not this way. It's at the other end. Fun. Oh, you sh yeah. Okay, so let's do this. Oh, shit, come on. Okay. Alright. So we broke the barrier on this. If you guys didn't see, um, if you guys need to know how to do that, um, it's in the last episode where I started this level. So, yeah. And the reason there's two episodes is because I did the, uh, Xerox, um, the Xerox layer level on one or on a video and it was only five minutes so I decided to be all like ah fuck it let's just start off the next level let's see alright and I think oh at least this is the last time 
we will ever have to deal with that. All right. Time to get the fuck up on out of here. Let's go, Tobias, the death engine of destruction and death. And our last visit to the Hall of Heroes and confirmation of if you were actually going to see the secret ending. I think this is. You prove us all wrong. Mm -hmm. Maybe it is destined to be a hero. Maybe it can defeat Zarok. Maybe. The people of Galamir may never know of your past mistakes. And you will indeed be remembered as the people's hero. I'm the people's your champion. Your time in exile is over. Welcome to your new home, Sir Daniel Fortescue. Yeah! And I want to show you guys something. You are now one of the statues. Your statue has materialized. So it's official. You are a hero. Let's see. Can I get a good... Can I get a good thing going? Oh. Uh, oh. Damn, if only I could do a screenshot of this. You know what, I'll take a screenshot out of it at some point. Out of this episode. But I think the last gift, yep, comes from her. And what a gift it might be. Daniel, thank goodness you're still safe. Yeah. I have a gift I can give to you, but sadly, I can't say how useful you will find it. That's fine. Ooh. Thank you. Especially at this point, this will save me from going back to certain levels a whole bunch of times. But that is it for the Hall of Heroes. That is all the chalices in the game, all of the rewards that you could get. Your statue is materialized, which means there's only one more thing to do. And next episode, we'll be getting into it. But thank you guys so much for like, commenting, and subscribe or er, subscribing. Hope you guys do all that shit if you haven't already. Um, like I said, question for you guys. What's the most difficult um, PlayStation platformer that you've ever played that's not Bubsy 3D? Not Bubsy 3D. But um, next episode, final battle. This is Ostuni, signing off.